Hello everyone, today we are talking about a carbohydrate that may be extremely beneficial to you, especially if you have diabetes, anxiety, insulin resistance, and all that. Yes, we are talking about inositol. Inositol is something that you need to know, be aware at least, and consider taking. So guys, remember to watch the entire video because I have a bonus tip for you at the end you'll be surprised to hear about. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin, I'm an endocrinologist. I am a diabetes expert, seeing patients in Florida. Today, we are going to talk about inositol. So guys, before we jump to the video, make sure you take the quiz to win a chapter from my The Ultimate Diabetes book. You can win any chapter, it's gonna be a surprise, and one in three of you taking the quiz will win. So go ahead and take the quiz at the end of this video. So guys, basically, inositol is a vitamin. It is a sugar alcohol at the same time, so it's just a carby vitamin, it's an interesting vitamin. It's called B8 vitamin. We don't really talk about the B8 too much, we talk about B12, we talk about B1, you know, we talk about the benfotamine video, which is B1, right here, or you can click in the description below. We talk about the B12, especially for people taking metformin, being deficient, and so forth, but we didn't really talk about much about B8, and it's, it's extremely important. Now, did you know that more than 30% of patients with diabetes are depressed? Rest. Now you may be one of them, and you may you may not want to be taking all these antidepressant medications that can make you like a zombie, right? So most people have reservations about those medications, and I totally agree with it. They have a lot of side effects. Now what's the cool thing about inositol? It has minimal to no side effects. Now let's talk about the anxiety and depression first, which is the number one thing. It increases or adjusts your serotonin levels. Now we believe, and not just we believe, the, the whole scientific world believes that anxiety and depression has something to do with the imbalance in the serotonin in your brain. That's why we use serotonin uptake inhibitors to increase the serotonin in your brain. Now when you use medications, you, you know, you sometimes just overdo it. Versus if you use something natural like inositol, and the studies are different, some studies are using 6 grams, some studies are using 12 grams, 18 grams, but it's fairly safe up to 18 grams of inositol, and you take that and you may reduce your risk of panic attacks, anxiety, depression, if you already have that, you will also feel so much better. Now studies show that if you did not respond to medications already, taking inositol may not be a miracle for you. So if you have a severe case of depression, that may not be the case. But if you have a mild case of depression, or you have signs of depression, or you're not really, nobody said that you're depressed, but you feel depressed and down sometimes, you may want to consider taking inositol. Studies indicate that it reduces the number of panic attacks greatly compared to other medications, even sometimes as a better job. So definitely anxiety and depression is number one. When you have diabetes, you need to make sure that you are taking inositol. Now, what else? Well, more importantly, it actually helps with the insulin resistance. Now, 70% of diabetics are not depressed, so in this case, they are still insulin resistant. Well, inositol works just like almost like a metformin. It makes you insulin sensitive. So as a result, you know, you will be able to get the benefit of any medication that you're on on or any diet you're on and it things will get better. So guys, inositol, we talk about supplementation, but actually you can get the inositol in the food as well. So what are they? Well, guess what? Like the foods that I always recommend, the nuts, beans, whole grains, and some citrus fruits and high fiber foods. So, but it may not be enough. So as a result, sometimes you may need supplementation. It even works for PCOS for the same reason, because PCOS is polycystic ovarian syndrome that happens to a lot of young women because they're insulin resistant. They're not yet diabetic, but as you know, as some of you may know, that the PCOS is like a precursor or prior to being even pre-diabetic, and then you become diabetic and so forth, but the bottom line is insulin resistance. Guess what? The inositol helps balance your FSH and LH, which regulates your estrogen levels, you know, because especially with your periods, especially if you have irregular cycles as a young woman, you will definitely benefit from taking inositol. Uh, if you're a metformin, that's fine for PCOS. You can add on inositol that will help you. And most of the time, even, you know, I tend to see and find out that a lot of my PCOS patients are somewhat depressed, so inositol helps them greatly in that regard as well. 
if you are pregnant, up to four grams of inositol is good, but you don't want to take more than four grams of inositol. But if you are not pregnant, up to 18 grams of inositol is good. Now, what are the side effects? You know, you may get stomach irritation, nausea, diarrhea, bloating, stuff like that if you are taking too much inositol, like at once. I would suggest starting slow, like anything else, and building your dose of inositol. And then if you are seeing more response, go ahead and give more, take more. But the moment you're having side effects, like I mentioned, you may want to back off a little bit, and most of the time, side effects go away like I said the side effects are very minimal unless you're like starting at a maximum dose but it's a vitamin that helps your insulin resistance it helps your anxiety it helps your depression or it helps prevent those problems if you have PCOS infertility problems irregular periods helps all that as well now as a bonus feature I didn't mention that I kept it to the end inositol actually helps with weight loss and even cholesterol because it actually kills your carb cravings and it may not happen to everybody but it definitely helps a lot of people with carb cravings and that will help you lose weight and improve your insulin resistance as well so i hope you find this video helpful guys give a thumbs up share and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done